What's going on everyone? It's Garnet Walters here again and welcome to another question and answer session. Um, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I thank you for your support. It really means a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, you can press on the subscribe button and press on the bell so you know whenever a new video comes out. So today's question comes from a friend of mine on Instagram, Soul Sounds, and he asked, Hey bro, what classical influences do you study for your reading and sight reading, etc.? I'm thinking about getting back into Bach to help my cleanness and dexterity in both hands. Any recommendations for someone getting back into reading? So the classical influences that I've studied to help me with my reading and my sight reading are Bach, Mozart, and Chopin, and sometimes Beethoven. The music that I read coming from Bach are the two-part inventions and his chorales. I think there are like 374 of them, if I'm not mistaken. I use the Bach two-part inventions because it reminds me of two singers singing and the singers have to be interdependent but independent. So the right hand has to be independent of the left and vice versa, but they both work together to create this nice tapestry of sound. So you're not thinking of chordal harmony in terms of three note chords being played at the same time, but you're thinking of the right hand's playing a, mel a melody and the left hand's playing a counter melody, but when you put them together, they're spelling out a harmony and you can hear the chord changes in whatever lines are being played. Two-part inventions are very challenging because there's so much going on between the two hands. So practicing it slowly will always help get that cleanness and the dexterity. I like the Bach chorales because they remind me of hymns I play in church. You have soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. And with that chorale style, you're not thinking chord, 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 chord. You're thinking more of the soprano has a line, the alto has a line, the tenor has a line, and the bass has a line. And because it's, you can look at it vertically, you can also see the inner movements and stuff between whatever lines are being highlighted in the, in the song or in the chorale. So uh, I like using the chorales because you can see where each note is going and where each voice is going. Like the accidentals are very tricky because Bach tends to go in and out of different keys, but in a very subtle way. So you'll be in C, for example, and then for some strange reason, you'll end up in A flat or something like that. And it's just, you have to wonder, how did you get there? And then you can see these accidentals and stuff. So I like using the Bach chorales to help me with my harmony, help me look at where the soprano, alto, tenor, and bass you know, notes are going in the line, where the lines are going and stuff. Personally, I think Bach is a good choice in getting your sight reading together and working on your cleanness and your dexterity because with the Bach two-part inventions, you have so much going on between those two voices, you know, in the left hand and in the right hand that you have to be clean and you can't really fudge any of the notes. And it really forces you to be honest there's so much going on rhythmically and harmonically, like you have to pay attention to all of those details. I like sight reading Mozart because I find that it's simpler to read. In the left hand, for example, you have a bass pattern called the Alberti bass. And since you have the Alberti bass going on in the left hand, you can kind of go on autopilot a little bit. And then in the right hand, you have the melody and you have all these scalar patterns. And then you have, uh, you know, it's a couple chords here and there. And I find that it's easier to hear the chord changes. So while you're reading it, when you hear uh, a dominant chord, you know that you're probably going to go to the uh, the one of that dominant chord, whether it be major or minor. So I find that it, it's simpler in terms of reading the harmonies and hearing the harmonies as well. I also like reading... Chopin preludes like some of them are pretty easy but I like them because they have such an emotion behind them I guess because Chopin was in the romantic era 
when it comes to, you know, classical music. So I like Chopin because of that. You know, I love his etudes and everything, but the preludes are really, really nice. You know, very melodic and, and pretty straightforward. So you can check out Chopin as well when it comes to the whole sight reading thing. I'd like to thank everyone who checked out this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and press on that notification button, that little bell there so you know when a new video comes out. And I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Um, I really appreciate your support in checking out these videos. Um, and also, if you have any classical composers that you'd like to cite me their music, comment down below. And if you have any questions, my information is going to be in the descriptions. So feel free to ask any musical questions that you want, and I'll do my best to answer them as best as I can.